Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a process video for Spiegel Mom Scraps where if you use Miranda 15 in the discount area, you can get 15% off. And I am going to show you how to use your sequence in a layout. And the sequence I am going to use is R-O-Y-G-B-I-V. It's like a 4th of July type one or the rainbow colors, however you want to look at it. So what I originally got out to start out this layout is with um, Page Maps August 20 or 2008 sketch. It's just a one, um, one, like three photo sketch, but it's one page layout sketch. And then obviously I'm using the Flags and Frills American Crafts Collection. Um, and then I do bring in some mixed medias. So here is what I'm kind of going through. I'm trying to find, um, in this part, this page right here, it is a lot, it's there, I'll be honest, it's there, 4th of July, Happy Independence Day um, papers. But my photos are of my husband's retirement ceremony. And these particular photos that I'm using at this moment are the ones where he is getting the gift, um, his retirement gift for being in the military for 24 years. I am playing catch up. I want to try to get all of this done because this was done in 2022. Wait, we're going on 24 now. Yeah, 2022. And so I want, want to get caught up so that I can get not be what I feel so far behind because I feel very behind. Um, so the photos that once you get to see them, it's like him getting a plaque and then he ended up getting a sword and it's actually really cool and neat. It's very heavy and it's super gorgeous. And I'm looking at, like, we're still trying to figure out like the best way to hang it so it doesn't break, um, in our house. And I absolutely love what they did for him. It's like one of the for me, it's like out of all of the gifts that he's ever gotten from any unit, the last one that um, we've gotten that we really liked as well was when he was in um, uh, Kuwait the first time around and it actually broke due to the movers. Um, this was the second one and then we did get one that, that was from um, when we were part of the Stuttgart when he was when we were stationed there. Um, that's another one. So what I'm doing here is I took a Vicky Booten stencil that has circles that look like you could do rings of like rings of fireworks and I'm going to take the sequence and I'm going to place them in the holes and you're going to see how I get this like done. So right now I'm just placing the holes. Now this doesn't really have holes. I'm just using it as a template and I'm just placing it in the middle and at the very tip of it. So once you get to see what I'm doing here and finishing out, these are like the hole punches. But what I decided to do was I'm going to add the sequence and I'm going to string my DMC thread and it's called the Blanc. It's the white one, ver pretty much the white version. And... You will see that when I come back on camera um, after doing all these punches of holes and whatnot, you'll see how I run them through the sequence. And it's super easy. You just have to make sure that you have a needle that is thin enough to go through the holes. And that's pretty much just do what you need to do. I just really like how it turns out. So I'm just kind of placing these where I need them to be. And then you'll see when I come back on how this works. So now that I'm almost done, you see that I've got them all in there. So you can tell that I've done different colors of sequent mixes that would look like like they would be circles of, of fireworks. Now at the very, very end, you will see me add little enamel dots that came with this collection to round out these sequence mixes. But I really like how this turns out. The reason being that I did it the way I did is that you're going to see me come in with some mixed media and I'm going to place the, the bursts that I got from Brutus Monroe. And you're going to see how I tie it all together to make it look like a um, 4th of July photo without, or 4th of July layout without photo, without like photos for the 4th of July. So this particular one that I'm showing you here is I'm adding um, three, I think it's two gold 
and three green or three gold and two green, something like that. And I'm just going around. As you can tell, I kind of did different colors because I felt like with this one here, it's for the rainbow and it works out to where you can have a lot of different colors. So as you can see there, I placed them all down and I'm going to distress the sides. And now I'm going to place it down on the white um, cardstock that I'm using for my background. The reason why I did not go through the white um, cardstock is because I wanted all of the the thread that I'm using to be backed on something. So when you put it into your album, if you do do albums like this, that those layers of thread and stuff are protected in the back because that's where all of the strings end up being, you know, whether you tie them in knots or just do it with tape or whatever. So these are the photos that I was talking about. It's like a three-step process. So there is one of him holding it with his um, commander and having the full one. The other one, they're giving him the rack first. And then um, the one of his female cadre members there is putting the sword on top of the rack that they made and it was all handmade the only thing that was not handmade was the sword obviously they had to purchase the sword but it it's as one of the military swords that you would use you know during like balls and things like that you would see them use so this is a little bit of what that is and here is what I'm doing is that yes I know everybody's going to be like, well, why are you covering these up? I'm not necessarily covering them up on purpose. I place these strategically in the right spots so that they're kind of peeking out in certain spots. Now, did some of them get completely covered even though I had sequins? Yes, but I needed some of them to go completely around to make sure that I got exactly what I wanted and others I knew I could do half because I knew that my photo would cover up most of it and there would be no point of going all the way around because there's no reason for it. I am obviously using the 6x8 paper pad right here to um, do my layering. You guys know that I love my layering. Um, this is where I said like some of them you can see like that one green and like gold one that I did, that one that you were seeing on camera, that one, was they get covered up some. It is what it is. So this is where I took the the firework. And it, once you see placing that in there, it just added, it was like bursts of fireworks and spots with these things. And then at the very, very end, you will see me put in the dots to round, excuse me, to round out these um bursts of what I would call fireworks. It is something simple and easy to do. Is it a little bit of time consuming? Sure. But I really like how this um, turned out. So the two glitter glaze um, Brutus Monroe that I'm using to do, the stencil is from them. And then the two glazes that you see off to the side is tangerine and hoth um, hoth um Hyathen, Hyathen, there we go. The Hyathen is the blue and then the Tangerine is the orange. I just wanted something a little bit. Now, you can't quite necessarily see that um, it's, that, that you see the burst, but in the still shots, you do see the burst. Now, I had to let this dry and it kind of wasn't completely dry yet, but I wanted to finish up this layout because I felt like it's just amazing of a layout and I wanted to get it done. So my title is just going to be celebrate. I felt like that's a good um, title to like, cause we are celebrating. Um, he, this is a huge milestone for any soldier and quite frankly, anybody that works period. Like, yes, he's a soldier. Yes. He sacrificed his life, but this was his job. This was his job for 24 years. Um, w there's not a lot of individuals that go 24 years with the same job. Uh, a lot of times you're switching out. Very seldom do you see people go this long, um, especially in the military. They hit about 20 and then they're out. Um, we extended four years worth of our time of his time, which in turn kind of been my time, but it's more his time because he had to endure everything. I just sat back and made sure the bills were paid um, in that regards. But uh, 
you know, this is what I was telling you, like where I ended up putting out these dots and that just made every, that just made it, everything, it just, it added that, that little bit and it was perfect to how this ended up being. I just love how this went. This is such a good layout, such a good everything, such a Miranda layout. Um, and I just really love how this turned out. So make sure you do all the YouTube -y stuff. If you're coming from my channel over to Spiegel Mom Scraps, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Vice versa, if you're coming from Spiegel Mom Scraps to mine. The still shots are definitely coming up. See, that's where you can see the glitter. I wanted it to be there, but not just be so distinct. Make sure that you use my code Miranda15 to get 15% off. And I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.